In this video, we're comparing these two bass guitars. This is a Sire version two Marcus Miller V7, and this is a Fender Deluxe Precision. Now, this is an interesting comparison for a number of reasons. Both of these bass guitars are similar in lots of ways, including design, they both have active electronics, and they've both got a ton of control via the various pots. However, where they are not similar at all, is in price. The Fender in the UK retails for over a thousand pounds. A brand new one of these is going to set you back nearly eleven hundred pounds, which is pretty pricey given that it's made in their Mexican factory. However, the Sire is coming in at under half of that. This is a friend of mine's, and he managed to get it very recently for four hundred and eighty pounds. That's more than fifty percent saving on the Fender. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail on the features here. You can easily find that stuff out for yourself online or if you really want to go to a local guitar shop and try them for yourself. What I want to focus on in this video is how they sound and is it worth spending almost £600 more for the Fender versus the Sire Marcus Miller. So let's find out. Okay, so now you've heard both of those basses played through the same amp. And just for your information, that amp was an Ashdown ABM 600 uh, loaded up as a Kemper profile. Um, if you're a Kemper user yourself, you can actually get your hands on that profile and you can download it via my website. Just go to adam-fiasco.com forward slash Kemper profiles and you can get your hands on that exact profile. So I would absolutely love to know what your thoughts are on both of these guitars. Which one do you prefer? And why? Let me know, drop a comment below. Is the Fender worth more than double the price? Or does the Sire perform on par with the Fender at less than 50% of the cost? Drop a comment and let me know. Personally, I've always been a Fender fanboy. I absolutely love all of their guitars. I think they're really, really well made and I think they sound great and provide excellent value for money. And on this occasion, I think that still holds true. The Fender Deluxe is all of those things. I've owned that guitar for almost five years now and it has always been a fantastic guitar. However, and there is a however, the Sire is phenomenal. It's not just a great guitar for the money, it's a great guitar full stop. And the fact that it is less than half the price of the Fender is just mind blowing. I think in the comparison that we've just heard, the Sire easily keeps up with the Fender in terms of sound and in some cases maybe even sounds a little bit better. It's got a bit more edge and it's got super deep lows and overall it's just got a lot of depth to the sound. And also I absolutely love the neck on this guitar. It is a pleasure to play, it's super easy and honestly the finish is like what you would expect on some higher end American made guitars. We'll just get that, hopefully you can see that. It is super, super nice and really comfortable to play. Now, the Fender, it sounds great, don't get me wrong, and I've happily used this on every single record I've ever made in the last five years. The Sire is borrowed from a friend of mine, and after getting my hands on it, trying it for myself, and hearing it next to the Fender, I am super tempted, I'm not going to lie to you, to get this listed on eBay 
and get one of the Sire Marcus Millers on order. That's how much I love the Sire. Um, I think the sound is easily on par. I think the Sire in some way sounds better. Like I said, it's got deeper lows. It's got a lot of depth. But just the, the, the price fact alone is a really compelling argument to have one of those Sires versus a Fender. Now, if you are a live musician or playing a band, or perhaps you do a lot of recording at home and you want some advice on the best gear to suit any budget, then you need to download my Ultimate Gear Guide. It covers everything from guitars, electric and acoustic, to basses, to drums, cymbals, PA systems, microphones, basically everything that you need. And it's set out to cover all budgets. So whether you're just starting out and you need to keep the cost down, or whether you've been doing this for a while and you want to upgrade to something really, really high end that will last you a lifetime, or even something in between, this guide has got you covered. It's completely free and the link is in the description below. So let me know your thoughts on both of these guitars by leaving a comment below. I'd love to have a chat with you and I'd love to answer any questions that you've got as well about either of those guitars.